Anthony Hudson here for the clash between Western Bulldogs and Gold Coast. Fantastic weather here today in Ballarat. Alongside me for this match will be Gary Lyon. Welcome, Gaz. G'day, Hutto. It's fantastic to be here today. Here today, the clash between Western Bulldogs and Gold Coast. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The banners are ready for the players. We are the mighty Gold Coast Suns. We play to win the flag. It's a big day for Gold Coast forwards. If they can get on top of the Western Bulldogs' defence, they'll go a long way to winning the game. Run on in full confidence, they're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. Captains make their way to the middle for the toss. Gold Coast wins the toss. Both sides look ready to get into the action just moments away now. We're underway at Mars Stadium. English aims for his man on the ground. Hacking it out of there. Doing well to intercept that kick. Johannesson, one out in the square. The ball spills free. Dug out the loose ball. McRae uses it by foot. Just put it on the boot. Stuck the mitts out there and held onto it. 25 metres out. Can he put it through? Western Bulldog. Fans getting excited about that one. Bruce getting the crowd involved. Puts the first goal on the board. We resume hostilities. Wins the ruck duel. McRae releases the handball under pressure. He gets his hands on the footy. Ends up turning this ball over. Holmes kicks hard along the boundary line. Marked by Gweller. Kept alive under pressure. Unfortunately, not for long, as the ball goes out. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? This is a classic game we're seeing right now. Collected by Wallace. Picked up under pressure. A chance for McRae. Decides to keep it alive. Couldn't complete the play. Ball out of bounds. Ball tossed back in. Tap down. Fiorini controlled the difficult ball, found a way to keep it alive. Through for a minor score. Western Bulldog lead by seven. Ready to bring it back into play. Plays on. Holmes puts it on the boot. Easily takes the mark. With a driving kick. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Liberatore going for number one. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Brody kicks it. Harbrab with an easy mark. He takes the mark. Liberatorek urged on by the crowd. Prepares the kick. Moves it by foot. Murdoch gets the loose ball. Ball gets cut off. Pushes through with power. Releases the handball. He's got the footy in his hands. Gets a quick kick away. Johannesson couldn't snaffle it. Day earns a free kick. Looks up with a kick. Wits grabs that one. 45 metres out. Move it on. Going for goal number one. Goes wide for a behind. Gold Coast close the gap to six. Trend go considering the options on the kick in. Works it from the back half. 
Murdoch looks to get onto the football. Swallow creates a goal. They get around him after that effort. The scoreboard is level. He did really well there and gets the reward. That's a really good team goal. About to resume play. Witt got in a better position. Showed good control. He's picked up an injury. I think the doctor will be taking a close look at that one. A chance to reload the attack now. Moves the ball by foot. Trengo did well to win that ball. Spears the ball. Suckling marks. Uses it across half back. Spent that one before he earned it. Didn't get low enough with the tackle. Chips it towards half forward. Good mark there. Big kick required from this distance. With a driving kick. Great mark under pressure. Got boot to ball. Williams does well to mark. Williams tucks it into the pocket. An easy grab for Trengo. Puts it on the boot. Doing well with the mark. Richards keeps it moving. Wallace moves it now. Worked hard to get on the end of that. Bottom pallet collects the kick. Hit the man hard. Clears the congestion. Finding the ball was Holman. What, what can you tell us, Gas? It's a really entertaining game of football. Finding the loose ball was Ale. Umpire calls for the ball. Clears the contest. Johannesson wins the foot race. Lobs the handball. Bottom Pallet. Is streaming past and gets the footy. Harbrow couldn't dispose of it properly. Constricted by Dunkley. Great tackling technique. Does well to cut off the kick. Intervening brilliantly was Richards. Awkwardly got the handball out. Johannesson goes for territory. Just gets a boot to it. Lloyd off the deck. Thank you, guys. I'll have it. Winning it was Bruce. Has it now. Hands it out to open space. Greenwood has a teammate on the move. Harbrow quickly onto the boot. Holman was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. Wood controls this one. Ball gets cut off. Thumps it clear. I hope that's not serious, but boy, he looks to be in a lot of pain. Difficult to see him coming back on after that. The mark has been taken, gathers it now, uses the hands instead of the body, and it's a free kick. Takes a nice mark. 50 metres out. Ball hits the deck. The first quarter ends and the scores are all tied up. Let's check out the stats. The players will be feeling the heat right now. Thanks for that. The second term ready to get underway. Center bounce. Clears the contest. The bounce made it tough. Fiorini throws the ball away. Chose to kick it. Loy takes a strong mark. Decides to kick. McRae with the mark. 60 meters out. Goes with the kick. Weller gets on the end of this. Goes by foot. The contest, no match for him. I agree with you there, Hutto. 
A big contested grab. Fiorini goes with the kick, takes an uncontested mark. Moved on by Smith. Takes a simple grab. A low stabbing kick. Well taken at ground level. Gets the handball away. Scoops it up. Hurried kick. Thompson gets in a good position. He has to hold on to those. Gives it. Don't argue. Suckling releases the ball. Uses the bump. Gets a touch to the ball. Dragged down by Wright. Great tackling there, Hutto. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? There's some great skills on display right now. It's a great match. Goes off the ground. McRae sockers it forward. Mops up the loose ball. Fiorini there to mop up. He wins possession with the ball now. Did well to control the ball. He lays off the pass. Liberatore gets the handball away. English coming off for a spell. It'll be a ball up. Witt thumps it clear. Somehow got the ball out. He has the ball. Bruce goes for home. So close, but just misses. Hobbs searching for a teammate. It's a foot race to get this one. Dug it out. Found a way through. Interesting handball is in his possession. Richards read it best. Up for grabs for Norton. That's the sort of goal that can get the team up and about. That's his first. He's excited about that one. Western Bulldogs doing well at the moment. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Gold Coast are intercepting the ball well, but they're not capitalising on the scoreboard. They need to find the ball more at ground level to capitalise on their dominance in the air. A bit too hard with a push, and it's a free kick. Day wins the marking contest. Going for goal number one. That kick goes offline. It's under two goals now. Trend go weighing up the options now. McPherson runs after this one. McLean gets on the end of that handball. Hands that ball to the opposition. It's a behind. Gold Coast reduce the margin. Trengo deciding where to go with the kick in. Slams it on the boot. The ball finds Jeray. Stabs at the kick. Wood marks uncontested. Ops to play on. A race for the loose ball. Kick by McLean. Finds the loose ball. Ends up marking uncontested. Moves it by foot. And the mark will be paid. A spearing kick from Greenwood. Nobody can hold on here. Picked off the deck. Cleanly picked up. Movement by hand. He's got the football now. He might kick a goal. Collecting high fives now after that goal. Yes, I know. Celebrating hard. Western Bulldogs complete Gold Coast 20 to 9. Punched away. Takes possession. He wins the ball in the air. Looks up with the kick. Sexton used the body to take that mark. 50 metres from home. Goes for the goals. Johannesson takes the mark. Western Bulldogs are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Oh, what a hanger there. Bruce elects to kick. 
Bowes. There to mop up. Intercepted by Dunkley. Rushes with the kick. Ballark slowing down now. Might be in need of a rest. Moves the ball by foot. Murdoch clean from the half volley. Out on the full. Looks to move it by foot. Takes a strong mark. He drives it. Scoops up the ball. McRae scoops it up. The ball goes out of bounds on the full. Uses it now. Good grab there from Smith. Western Bulldogs just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Off hands from Norton. Ball collected. Kicks hurriedly. McRae looking a bit sluggish out there. That's it for the first half. What can you tell us, Gaz? A good first half from the Western Bulldogs. They can be well pleased with how the game is shaping. What do you make of it all, Gaz? Gold Coast are doing well to control the ball in the air. They are getting to the right spots to cut off opposition attacks. They just need to be more controlled from this point forward. Thanks, Gaz. Two quarters down and only two to go. Players back on the field to begin the second half here. Witt clears the contest, puts on a bump. He gains possession. Lloyd with the intercept. And now it's a ball up. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. Western Bulldogs needs to be more aware of the opposition set up at the stoppage. Their hitouts are getting cut off too easily. Off hands. Murdoch collects it. He looks like he needs a spell. The ball is turned over. Kept his head and kicked the goal. No doubt about it. Doesn't take the mark. His teammates rush over. 17 points the difference. Some great ball movement there. He just knew they were going to score. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. Western Bulldogs trail in the clearance numbers, but it's not a big issue for them because of their defence. Murdoch finds possession. Johannesson slips high and gives away the free kick. Norton gets the loose ball. Hits the target by hand. Seen plenty of it. That tackle just too high. Going for goal number one. No issues with that drop punt. Gets some reward for his efforts. Gold Coast now only trailed by 11. That's a really good team goal. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. Gold Coast are allowing the opposition too much room on the outside. They need to close them down faster once they break away. Dale uses the body well. Elects to kick. Takes a simple grab. McLean wants to play on. Gower takes the mark. Converting these opportunities could make a big difference to today's result. Uses it by foot. Snaffled up by Lloyd. Brody quickly onto the boot. Hunter wins the foot race. Swallow wins it back. Receives the handball and takes off. He couldn't hang on. Murdoch just gets it onto the boot. Packs it out of there. Picks up the loose ball. Going for goal number two. Steady hands there as he holds that one. A stab kick from Trengo. Johannesson controlling the airwaves on this occasion. Mark's all alone. Suckling gets a quick kick away. Good mark and looks to send it back. Opportunity now for Day. Distance won't be a problem from here. Drop punt straight through the middle. 
Congratulated by his teammates. That's two in a row for Gold Coast. One more goal, and they grab the lead. Swats it. And now Murdoch uses a short handball. Wood collects the loose ball. We'll have another ball up. It's a very tight game right now. Thrashes it. The ball spills to Wallace. Wallace sends one up towards the wing. He takes the mark. Joyce goes with the kick. Ball out of bounds on the wing. English getting a chance for a break. The umpire will throw it in. The ball is coming back into play. Thump clear. McLean collected the ball well. Decides to keep it alive. Couldn't go on with it. And the ball goes out. Umpire calls for a throw in. Toss back into play. Dropped the mark he should have taken. Smooth having an impact right now. He's doing everything right. The ball mopped up. Richard kicks it out of bounds on the full. Just kicks it long. Fiorini gets on the end of this. Puts boot to ball. Marks that ball uncontested. Sinks the slipper into it. Great mark under pressure. Harbrow uses it by foot. Collected by Brody. Quickly onto the boot. Murdoch had it, lost it. Swallow scoops it up, slams it onto the boot. Well collected. Fends off the tackler. Jeray links up with a chance to run. Stuck the mitts out there and held onto it. McLean drives the kick. Intercepts the ball well. Smith kicks it. McPherson couldn't hang onto the ball. Holman with a short hand pass. Quickly onto the boot. Ball spills. Well taken at ground level. McLean slams it onto the boot. Norton takes the pressure of the goal kick upon himself. Summed it up and he delivers perfectly. Pretty happy with that one. Western Bulldogs with the ascendancy over the Suns leading 32 to 21. Back in the middle now. Big thump from Thompson. Wallace rushes with the kick. Gets it away under pressure. They can create from this. Finding the loose ball with Libertore. Going for goal number one. Takes the chance and says thank you very much with that goal. Congratulated by his teammates. The Bulldogs' plea is now 17. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. This is how they can score, Big Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. Gold Coast can't seem to find the footy. It's pretty simple. If they don't have the ball, they can't score. Just through the ball. Punches the kick. Gets a quick kick away. The loose ball picked up. At full stride, receives the handball. He just throws that ball. Moved on by Hunter. Winning the ball in the air was Joyce. Goes by foot. Marks now and can send it back. Western Bulldogs have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. A chance to reload the attack now. Kick by Smith. Bonson Pally gains possession. The tackle deserves a free. And at the end of three quarters, it's Western Bulldogs 38, the Suns 21. Western Bulldogs walk into three quarter time with the lead and the confidence they can win this game. Did well to get a hand in.
What can you tell us from the stats, Gaz? Western Bulldogs have got on top in the marks. They've been able to control the ball in the air and it sees them in this position. Much appreciated, Gaz. One quarter of footy to go. Can't afford any mistakes from here. They have to be perfect. He has the ball. Greenwood will be the recipient of the free. Greenwood has resources out wide. Gets into a good position to take that. Decides to kick. Mark in space was Murdoch. He gives chase to the footy. Listen to the roar of the fans. They love that decision. The kick from Johannesson. A good mark under the circumstances. Western Bulldogs have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Marks in a bit of space. 45 metres out. They can just slow the game down now, take a bit of time off the clock. McLean looking to put through another goal. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Western Bulldogs with a handy break. They lead Gold Coast 44 to 21. Back in the middle to resume play. Witt's got a fist to it. Wasting a lot of effort there. Missed the target. It'll be a ball up on the outer wing. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? This game needs a spark at the moment. Ball up on the outer side wing. Witt gets onto the ball. We'll get a ball up. Hammers it. Is in his possession. We'll have a ball up close to the boundary line. Punches are clear. McRae can't hold on to the tackle. Hunter cuts it off. Bonson Pally has the ball. Has it now. Does well to cut off the kick. Sinks the slipper into it. A chance to gather the ball. English going for number one. Makes the most of that kick. It's a goal. He celebrates hard after that. Western Bulldogs have kicked the last four goals. The lead is now 29. Clears the ball for the contest. With a driving kick. Intercepts the ball well. Western Bulldogs are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Ball off hands. Gets around the imaginary opponent. Going for goal number one. It's only a behind. Unable to capitalise on that opportunity. The Suns behind by 28. Trengo considering the options on the kicky. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Moves it by foot. Finds a bit of room to mark. Drives the kick hard. Suckling drops the mark. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Punches are clear. He drives it. Shaki fends off the tackle. Doing well to intercept that kick. Bows. A long driving kick. Spills the mark. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. He's barely touched the ball lately. With the ball now. Ainsworth takes a strong mark. 15 metres out. Look it on. He takes aim. He delivers with a drop punt. He's excited about that one. We resume hostilities. Thrashes it. The ball in the hands of Greenwood. Handball finds Thompson. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's having a real quiet match, Hunter. McPherson has a chance to put a second goal on the ball. Look at them celebrate that effort. Gold Coast could kick back-to-back -back goals. They're gaining momentum here. Western Bulldogs have got on top in the clearances, but they're not hitting the scoreboard. If they can find a way to use their clearance ability better, they will find themselves in front. Doesn't hold on to the mark. Richards, the better man there. Slams it on the boot. 
great mark in the pack. Joe Hannison goes the long option. Turned it over. Going for goal number one. And the mark will be paid. Hobbs moves the ball out of defence. Ends up turning this ball over. Not sure if he has the journey from here. Norton with a chance for a third goal today. He's put that one through. Ball hits the deck. Celebrating hard. The margin is 22. It's great to watch her though. Plenty of excitement. He did really well there and gets the reward. Gold Coast need to find the ball more. If they can get their hands on the ball, then they can start to create some chances. Dug it out. Had plenty of the ball. It's a turnover. Marks now and can send it back. Hobbs moves it now. Thompson presents and takes the mark. Western Bulldogs haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. His teammates rush over. Now they lead by 28. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. Gold Coast need to tighten up once the ball leaves the contest. The opposition are getting lots of uncontested ball and it's hurting them on the scoreboard. A great defensive effort. A good job keeping it in play there. Just gave it away. Drop punt straight through the middle. Right, loves that goal. Gold Coast behind by 22. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Gold Coast are costing themselves with turnover today. They need to find a way to control the play better and stop turning it over. Suckling needs a chance to rest. Lloyd hacking it out of there. Hacks it on the boot. Nice mark under pressure. 40 metres from home. He slams it towards goal. The margin is 23. Western Bulldogs are costing themselves with turnover today. They need to find a way to control the play. I suspect Gold Coast coach will want to have a few words back in the rooms after seeing his team go down like that. Your final word on today's game, Gary. Sometimes you're just happy to walk away with the four points. They weren't at their best, but they did what they had to do. Final scores are 10, 3, 63 to 6, 4, 40. That's all for today. On behalf of myself, Gary Lyon, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon.